how many know what Hallyu is? How many have heard of it? Raise your hands. How many have heard of the Korean wave? So Hallyu is this Chinese term, really, that means Korean wave. What I want to do is walk you through why I think this is something that you very much want to pay attention to. Because it's here, it's all around us, it's all around the world, and if you have any ideas of wanting to be global in the way that you see the world, you're going to want to pay attention to how this thing has grown in an unprecedented way, in a way, in many ways, in which we've never seen. So here's something about Korea. You probably wouldn't pay attention to um, it probably doesn't really, in some ways, matter to you, to, unless you're from Korea or unless you're connected somehow. You know, it probably doesn't really matter. You're not really thinking about it. But look, Korea has had an historical experience unlike probably anything the world has ever seen. 1965, the GDP of the UK was $100 billion. And in Korea, it was $3.1 billion. And then look what happened going into 2020. Look what Korea did. It's unprecedented. Korea grew in a way to $1.6 trillion. It grew like no country has ever done this sort of thing, has ever grown like that. And so right away, when I see that, if you see those numbers in that way, you want to ask yourself, this is me as a teacher, talking to my students and going to school is about learning which things we should pay attention to. That, my friends, is something you want to pay attention to. Any country that could do that and didn't have some natural resource that was just somehow worth a lot of money like oil or natural gas or something, any country that could do that is a country that you want to pay attention to. What did they do? It's an extraordinary process of development. But the piece of Korea that, is, that we're going to talk about today that's most fascinating to me, there's hard power and there's soft power. And hard power is military and economic power, and soft power is persuasion. It's the ability to get what you want without having to resort to force, either economic force or military force. And Korea said, look, we're never going to compete with the strongest nations of the world militarily and economically. Like, we're not going to pe- compete at that level. I mean, it's just way too far ahead of us. We're, we can try and we can do really well, and they did really well, but we're not going to go at that level. But, but we can do something else. And we can use soft power. And we can use some kind of persuasion to make it happen. And we can find a way to push our culture out into the world. Korea decided, hey, we can take our culture, which we think is pretty cool. We can package it. We can refine it. We can get really good at what it is we do. We can invest in it. And we can promote Korean culture around the world such that when people think about ever think about Korea, they have something to think about. They have something to latch on to. And Korea has done that unlike any nation that I, I've ever seen. The first time I talked about K-pop was probably about five years ago. And, and it was right after BTS. And I'm sure most all of you know who BTS is. It was the first time that BTS broke a record that was held by Taylor Swift as the most sales in a, in a, like a 24-hour period. And I was blown away by it. And I had heard of BTS. I knew BTS. I had listened to BTS because I had listened to music from all over the world. But it, but it was this record that beat a record from Taylor Swift that people didn't, never imagined that they were going to beat. And I said, class, how many of you have ever heard of BTS? And like five hands went up in the air. And I said, oh my God, you, you will... But before you get out of college, those of you who are freshmen and sophomores, before you leave college, you will know who BTS is. BTS is one of the most profoundly uh, global music phenomenons that the world has ever seen. And you will know who they are and what they are. And BTS is this band that blew up in popularity on the other side of the world. That here we have this classroom full of students. And what I said was, if you want to be global, 
And if you want to consider yourself or go out and work in the global economy, if you want, to want one of these like really cool jobs where you're just sitting around and connecting with people all over and you don't know who these folks are, you're never going to get to where you think you want to go. You won't. It's just, it's, you, you can't get there. And so, you know, this, this is, the, you know, this is this one band. This is the, the biggest phenomenon right now, right? There's another, this is, uh, this is a band called 17. There's only 13 of them, but they're called 17. This is a, a really, a big up and coming band. They're defining masculinity in a new way. In my humble opinion, this is the future of masculinity right here. This idea that, that, you know, this kind of macho, masculine thing that men have to be a certain way. I actually have this idea that that's the future. And this is kind of where we're going to go. It's a vision that many of us really don't fully comprehend. But if you give yourselves to it, life is changing. And I have this sense that this is the direction it's going to go. Remember, it's the other side of the planet. We might live in our small, little, tiny world, but there's a huge, huge world out there that's happening, that's moving and shaking and transforming culture all over the, all over the planet. And this is part of it. These folks are at the forefront. This is one of the top women bands called Black Pink Twice. And then the next one is this band called Luna. You know, it's like, a, it's a huge, this is part of the industry of it. And Korea spends an immense amount of time building this industry, like building it in a way. You know, here in the United States, somebody can become an artist. Like, you know, you don't have to have any talent. You just have to be able to get some sort of celebrity notoriety or something that gets out there, that pushes, that moves you out, that gets clicks on the web somehow. That's not happening in Korea. In Korea, it's an, they're building an industry of immensely and incredibly talented people that you don't get to this level if you don't have talent and if you haven't shaped your talent. And a lot of these folks have been developing that talent since they were six and seven years old and being shaped to be in that place. So K-pop is this just tremendously expressive cultural phenomenon that I want to talk about today. Why it is that so many people follow these folks. There's so many people. You know, BTS, they put up a video and it's just hundreds of millions of views immediately. So what is this? And you may not be part of it, but the world is part of it, y'all, right? The world. And as students, who are all, we're all students of the world, this is something you wanna tap into to understand.